You are welcome to Unit 1 of our discussion for Week 4 of MOOC course on Open Educational Resources for Online Learning and Introduction. I am Dr. Johnson Okpateye from the Faculty of Education, National Open University of Nigeria. I am your facilitator for Unit 1 of Week 4, Applying OER Online Learning Course Planning. This week, we are looking at learning outcomes. What are learning outcomes? Learning outcomes describe what learners should know, be able to do, and value as a result of integrating knowledge, skills, attitude learned throughout the course. They are stated in measurable terms. Learning outcomes are different from goals, which are general and broad desired result of a course focus. They are also different from objectives, which identify discrete aspects of a learning outcome or a goal. Collectively, objectives roll up to meet the learning outcomes. We are looking at features of learning outcomes. Learning outcomes are characterized with these features, which include clear statement containing a verb and object of the verb of what student has expected to know or do. Learning outcomes are action-oriented, free from using ambiguous words or phrases, learner-centered, written from the perspective of what the learner does, clearly aligned with course goals, each learning outcome will support a course goal aligned with the course content, including assessment. Learning outcomes are realistic and achievable. The audience must be able to achieve the learning outcomes within the time and environment of the course. And also, learning outcomes are appropriate for the level of learner. Now, we are looking at domains of learning. Bloom's 1956 classify domains of learning into three. They are cognitive, co cognitive, which is actually looking at the knowledge, what students should know and understand. Affective will deal with values, motivations, interests, emotions. And this contains what students' opinion will be about the subject matter. And we also have psychomotor, which focuses on skills what students should be able to do. It involves the use of hands to manipulate objects, showing skills in drumming, swimming, jumping, dramatizing, and running. Now, we are looking at taxonomy of learning. Addison and Crawford modified Bloom's six levels of taxonomy for learning, which are the basis for you to generate learning outcome for OER content. So, in this particular taxonomy, we have the cognitive process, level of complexity, and appropriate fare that you will need to use. Remembering, it's a low level, and we can use the word list, divine state, name, memorize, recall, and repeat. Understanding is also a low level, and we use the term like describe, explain, discuss, translate, classify, distinguish, and differentiate. Applying is a medium level of uh, has a medium level of complexity, and we use the word choose, demonstrate, apply, execute, interpret, solve, implement, or draw. Analyzing is a higher level, and therefore we have the word like dismantle, criticize, discriminate, compare, co and contrast. Then we have evaluating, which is a higher level, and we can use the terms like appraise, argue, defend, judge, critique, check, monitor, evaluate, conclude, value, or detect. And creating is the highest level, and we can use the term like assemble, create, develop, formulate, invent, design, or construct, or produce. Now. Let's go forward. How do you now construct your learning outcomes? Begin with one knowledge, skill, and attitude, which is popularly called KSA. 
ascertain the level of learning related to the KSA. Pick a verb that matches the level of learning and communicate what you want the student to do in order to demonstrate their learning. Attach the criteria where necessary. Collect everything together to write the learning outcomes. Now, let us look at an example. Number one, begin with one knowledge, skill, and attitude. For example, historical perspective of open educational resources. Number two, ascertain the cognitive process. And the cognitive process we are looking at here is analyzing. Number three, select the appropriate verb, trace, analyze, compare, and contrast. Four, put the criterion. You may wish to specify the duration that the history will cover, for example, within the last two decades. Number five, assemble together to write the learning outcome dots. At the end of this unit, learners will be able to trace the historical development that have occurred on open educational resources in the last two decades. This unit had exposed you to how you can use learning outcomes while preparing your OER. You have gained the experience that learning outcomes must be competency-based, using observable, action, and measurable ways. You also learned that using higher order level terms will make your learning outcomes more feasible on your learners. Attempt your self-assessment exercises and answer your discussion forum questions. We meet in the next class. Thank you.